So you ask what happened? Why was I kicked out when I was 16? What did I do? <laughs> yeah, I asked myself the same question for a very long time. But since your eyes come, let me see. The short room, the long version. I did not bit the instructions I said, but whatever that means, the situation is that there is no way out when you are with the person like she, my mother, stepmother. She decided to have the house for herself and, you know, turn over her boyfriend who was the owner of the house and wanted to make the house herself. So I was in the way. That was basically it. In the happenings, it was just a constant fight and we were always initiated by her because we don't start fights. We don't even get in fights. I wish to help her out with her constant anger issues and we were no way out because she didn't want it to be helped and she didn't want me to help her, not in the way I envisioned, meaning getting her money in the house. Now that has been going on for a very long time, probably maybe forever. Yet I did not spend much time with her for many years because I was sleeping alone since I was like two and a half. And I ate alone when I was uh, out of elementary school, which is uh, when I entered first grade. I came home and the house was empty and I left the apartment and I ate alone. And I spent like all my time alone and um, I, I learned to entertain myself. I wrote plenty of books, any book in my hand, and I like music, and so when she finally wished to move in with her boyfriend, then we, whom he met, she met like uh, an advertisement. I was 12, 11, 12. Well, first she blamed me for it, which is kind of strange. Because she had promised not to move me again, because we had just moved from one city to the next. I don't know what the purpose was of blaming me for moving. I mean, she wants to be with her boyfriend. I, I, I see, I get it. I did not want to move there because I just had made roots when I was. I had my music, my music in, in the school. The school was a cool school and I started to be in a group and I uh, also had my cousins close by. It was so all new to me. And I did not wish to move, so she she drove over to the other side of the city, and eventually she said, you know, and I I, I was by myself, and I, she didn't want to leave me in the house or by myself, so she said, now we have to move because you don't want to go. <laughs> but he, this guy, he was living in a construction zone. He was just recently separated, I guess. He had personality issues, so he wasn't really a nice person. She said because I was jealous, but I was beyond that. Because she also had like nice boyfriends before, which I could really handle, and I went out with. Accompanied me when I was a kid. I love this man, and eventually we moved in there, and well, I was allowed to be out until nine o'clock, so I moved. I was outside the house every day until 9 o'clock. I mean, I took care of my curfew every day. I mean, I was on time, I was, I was very obedient, and I did all my laundry and my chores. I washed the clothes and I cleaned the bathrooms, even the floors. Once a week, I was made sure I had to do it. And she always found a reason to complain. I'm very neat and clean, so I don't know what reason she might have had. If she couldn't find one, then she invented one. And he too, he wasn't able and capable to talk to anybody, so... And then she was angry with me, and so he, he could find... I mean, they did have not a good relationship. They were screaming and yelling at each other every night. Very loud, harsh, drunk, I guess. I mean, he was drunk, she probably too, but he was drunk every night. And... Finally, they had something in common, make a common friend, that was me, against me. She was angry, so he got angry with me too, and if he was angry, then she got angry with me too, so they always made a common friend. And she pulled me into these, like, oh, I didn't wash the dishes, which I always did, but maybe she didn't ask me this time, but what dishes, I mean, 
be I had to eat like fast food prepared in a tray frozen I think it's called TV dinner she barely even cooked so it was a trap again again a trap this came also with the thing like fuck off bitch you can't study piano and music all that you want bitch and you really love it yeah you I don't give a fuck about you I'm trying to hurt you but I can't so I'm just gonna tell you that I told you this and you didn't do it so therefore you can go and fuck off something like that <laughs> because I didn't watch the, the trap never mind so on and on it went 8th grade 9th grade and the 14, 15 and like 16 she finally decided to be by herself with the guy or maybe she wanted to get rid of the guy and I was in the way so that made this incredible hard trip for me which I exploded and I exploded in my personal way and exploded in my personal way means I actually harmed myself the night before we don't harm anybody else and then he came but he 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 never molested me sexually but he he hit me with hard wooden objects and he threw my guitar case on me while I was on the floor after after struggle and fight he was standing and he said but whatever you love the most you love the most I'm gonna hit you now and that's what he did the hard guitar case a really hard one so in my defense, I threw whatever came into my hand back at him and actually reached his forehead, which is, you know, a little scratch bleeds tremendously. And that he took as a reason for why I should not be living there anymore. That was done. So that's the story. She did not want it, me. She was upset and angry because when she got pregnant, the guy she wasn't there for her, so she deemed someone else as the father, and hence my last name in this Indian world. <coughs> he wasn't my father, and he left also, like, pretty much right away, but for definitely when, when I was... Well, actually, she left when I was two, four, I didn't know, he left. I never saw him again until, like, 16. So there was never another father. And she was angry. And then she started to study when I was two or three. So I lived like in kindergartens and daycares until I ended elementary school. Then she started to work in an orphanage. Or I don't know how to call it, but taking care of these 11 kids. And I was like part of the group, the smallest one, because that's how she could handle. Pretty left alone, like, all the time. But after she kicked me out, she could not really handle her, her atrocious act for, like, the rest of her life and started to accuse and blame me for whatever now happened into her head. Even things she liked to one day and another day, she saw that into my days. It's totally irrational because she felt so full of guilt and pain. Never mind. <coughs> so that's the story. More questions to ask. If she was a hateful person, I have made that clear otherwise. The boyfriend of hers told, told me once how hateful she was to him, how mean and harsh. And that was the last time she kicked me out again. Although she was kind of surprised that I actually left after she told me, fuck off, bitch. I was uh, in very inconvenient circumstances at the time, and I visited her because she claimed only that, well, uh, that she couldn't see me, and then I, not me actually, my offspring, so I brought the offspring to her, but that hadn't helped. So I, I, I triggered on her hatred, and whenever <clears throat> she was around me, she had to pull out some, some farce. It's like a little baby girl to get attention, screaming and yelling. 
Oh, by the way, every time she made that drama, Omela, even when I was like still a child, afterwards, after she beat me and drama me for hours on end, and eventually I could actually crawl into my room, my bed, and she was banging on the door and she claimed now attention. She wanted to be forgiven by me. Like I had to, like, she needed my approval again. It was so strange and weird. Well, can't live with a narcissist. Ciao. Ciao.